In a bright blue sky, there was a little grey cloud named Cumulus. Cumulus was not like the other fluffy, happy clouds. Instead, he was always feeling angry and frustrated. Why does the sun get to shine all day long? Cumulus would grumble. It's not fair. I want to be the one that gets to make everyone happy. Whenever Cumulus got upset, he would start raining heavily, making the people and animals below him feel gloomy and sad. The other clouds tried to cheer him up, but Cumulus just wouldn't listen. Leave me alone, he would shout. I'm the angriest cloud in the whole sky. One day, a group of children were playing outside, splashing in the puddles and giggling with joy. Cumulus hovered above them, scowling. Look at them, having fun in the rain, Cumulus said angrily. I'll show them what a real storm can do. Cumulus began to rumble and growl, and soon the sky was filled with dark, heavy clouds. Rain poured down in sheets, soaking the children to the bone. Hey, what's going on? One of the children cried. I thought it was supposed to be a nice day. The children tried to run for cover, but Cumulus wouldn't let up. He kept raining and thundering, determined to ruin their fun. Just then, a strong gust of wind came rushing through the sky. Cumulus was caught off guard and blown far away from the children. Hey, what's happening? Cumulus shouted as he tumbled through the air. I'm not done raining on them yet. The wind carried Cumulus high above the town until he found himself face to face with the sun. Why are you always so angry, little cloud? The sun asked gently. Cumulus was taken aback by the sun's kind tone. I don't know, he stammered. I just can't seem to control my temper. Well, maybe it's time you learned how, the sun said. Why don't you come with me and see what the world looks like when you're not raining all the time? Cumulus hesitated, but something about the sun's warm smile made him feel a little less angry. So he let the wind carry him along to see what adventures awaited. The wind carried Cumulus to a beautiful meadow where the sun was shining brightly. Cumulus had never seen anything so lovely before. Wow, look at all those flowers, he exclaimed, his anger melting away for a moment. The sun smiled. Isn't it wonderful? And just think, if you had stayed up in the sky raining, you never would have seen this. Cumulus nodded, feeling a little ashamed of himself. I guess I have been pretty grumpy, haven't I? It's understandable, the sun said. Anger can be a powerful emotion. But it's important to learn how to control it, so you don't hurt the people and animals around you. Cumulus thought about this for a moment. I'll try, he said finally. Will you help me? Of course, the sun replied. That's why I brought you here. As Cumulus and the sun explored the meadow, they came across a tall, twisted tree. It looked angry, with its branches reaching up towards the sky. What's wrong with that tree? Cumulus asked. That's the angry tree, the sun explained. It's been that way for as long as I can remember. It's so full of anger and resentment that it can't seem to let go of it. Cumulus looked at the tree, feeling a strange kinship with it. I think I know how it feels, he said quietly. The sun nodded. That's why I wanted you to see it. Sometimes, when we hold onto our anger, it can turn us into something ugly and twisted, just like that tree. Cumulus watched the tree for a moment, its branches swaying angrily in the breeze. I don't want to be like that, he said. 
I want to be able to enjoy the beauty around me, like the flowers in the meadow. Then you must learn to control your anger, before it controls you, the sun said gently. As they continued their journey, Cumulus and the sun came upon a magnificent waterfall. The water tumbled over the rocks, creating a soothing, rhythmic sound. Wow, look at that! Cumulus exclaimed. It's so beautiful. The sun smiled. Yes, and do you hear how calming the sound of the water is? Cumulus listened intently, and he could feel his anger starting to melt away. It's like the waterfall is washing away all my bad feelings, he said. Exactly, the sun replied. Sometimes, when we're feeling angry or upset, we need to find a way to calm ourselves down. The waterfall is a great example of how nature can help us do that. Cumulus floated closer to the waterfall, letting the mist wash over him. He felt his tension and frustration slowly fading away, replaced by a sense of peace and tranquility. I think I'm starting to understand, he said. If I can learn to be more like the waterfall, maybe I can control my anger better. The sun nodded approvingly. That's exactly right. Now, let's keep exploring, and see what else we can discover. As Cumulus and the sun continued their journey, they came across a group of fluffy, white clouds. They were all smiling and chatting with each other, and Cumulus could feel their warmth and kindness. Who are they? Cumulus asked. Those are the caring clouds, the sun replied. They are always looking out for the other clouds and trying to help them when they are feeling down. Cumulus watched as the caring clouds noticed a small, sad-looking cloud and surrounded it, gently raining on it to help it feel better. Wow, they are so nice, Cumulus said, a little enviously. I've never been like that. The sun placed a comforting ray of light on Cumulus's side. But you can be, the sun said. You just have to be willing to open your heart and let go of your anger. Cumulus thought about this for a moment, then nodded. I want to try, he said. I don't want to be the angry little cloud anymore. The sun smiled warmly. Then let's go meet the caring clouds. I think they'd be happy to have you join them. Cumulus approached the caring clouds, feeling a little nervous. Hello, little cloud, one of the caring clouds said gently. We've been watching you, and would love for you to join us. Cumulus was surprised by their kindness. Ah oh, really? But I'm always so angry and grumpy. I don't want to ruin your happiness. That's why we want you to be here, another cloud replied. We can help you learn to let go of your anger, and find the joy in the world around you. Cumulus looked up at the sun, who nodded encouragingly. Okay, Cumulus said, taking a deep breath. I'll try. The caring clouds surrounded Cumulus, gently raining on him and soothing his troubled mind. Slowly, Cumulus felt his anger melting away, replaced by a sense of peace and tranquility. That's it, the caring clouds murmured. Just let it go. You don't have to hold onto your anger anymore. Cumulus closed his eyes and let the rain wash over him, feeling his tension and frustration fading away. He had never felt so calm and content before. As Cumulus spent more time with the caring clouds, he began to see the world in a whole new way. The sun's warm rays felt comforting, instead of annoying. The flowers in the meadow seemed to bloom more brightly. Even the sound of the wind whistling through the trees was soothing, instead of a source of frustration. I can't believe I used to be so angry all the time, 
Cumulus said, marveling at the beauty around him. The caring cloud smiled. We're so glad you were able to let go of your anger. Now you can truly appreciate all the wonders of the world. Cumulus looked up at the sun, who was beaming down on him with pride. Thank you, Cumulus said. For helping me see that there's so much more to life than just being angry all the time. The sun chuckled. You're welcome, my friend. Now go forth and spread your newfound joy to the world. With his newfound sense of calm and joy, Cumulus returned to the town he had once terrorized with his angry storms. But this time, instead of pouring down rain and thunder, Cumulus gently showered the town with a gentle, refreshing rain. The children below squealed with delight, dancing and splashing in the puddles. Cumulus watched them with a warm smile, no longer feeling the need to ruin their fun. Look at them, Cumulus said to the sun. They're so happy. I never thought I could make someone smile like that. The sun beamed. You see, when you let go of your anger and embrace the joy of the world, amazing things can happen. Cumulus nodded, feeling a sense of peace and contentment he had never known before. He knew that his journey was just beginning, but he was no longer afraid of the future. Instead, he was excited to see what other wonders the world had in store for him. As Cumulus continued to rain gently on the town, the people below looked up and smiled, grateful for the gift of his newfound kindness and understanding. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more short stories for kids.